Hey, in this video, I will show you how to get the version 28 update on the Oculus Quest 2, use Oculus Air Link, force 120Hz in apps and games on the Oculus Quest 2 standalone, or using Oculus Link wired. From what I can tell, 120Hz does not work with Oculus Air Link, but your results may differ and only works using a USB 3.0 cable with wired link. Also, not all games on the Quest 2 will function as intended with 120Hz on. All the links will be in the description below to download anything or copy the ADB commands. The way to get version 28 on your Quest 2 is a little dangerous as there is a chance you can brick your headset, meaning you can't use it for anything. This might only happen if you don't follow the steps exactly, or if your headset disconnects from your computer, or if the battery in the headset dies while you are sideloading the update. So only continue on with this if you feel comfortable and understand the risks. If not, just wait for it to be available and then update the way Oculus intended it to be from inside the headset. This is only for people who don't yet have version 28 and will only work if you have version 27 currently in your headset. So to get version 28, all you need is a Windows computer, an Oculus Quest 2, the version 28 zip file from the Reddit post. Scroll down and you'll see the comments, and the top comment is the file. Click on that and it should download. You'll also need a USB-C cable. You can use the one that came in the box with the Quest 2. And you'll also need ADB drivers. To get the ADB drivers on your computer, go to the link in the description and download the latest version. Open it and answer Y for all the questions. This just installs the ADB drivers and the USB software. This is what is going to allow us to sideload the update. Next, download the version 28 file from the link in the description and open CMD with admin privileges. To make sure ADB is installed, type ADB in command prompt and then hit enter. This should show a bunch of text. If you see this, it has successfully installed and you're good to go. Next, make sure your battery on your Quest 2 is above at least 50% and shut it down fully by holding the power button. Once it is shut down, hold the volume down button and the power button to power it back on. You should see a screen show up with text on it titled USB Update Mode. Using the volume buttons on the headset, Scroll down to sideload update and hit the power button to confirm. The screen should go black, which means you can now sideload an update. Plug in your Quest 2 to your computer. To see if your computer detects it, type in the command prompt, ADB devices. It should show a string of numbers and letters, followed by the word sideloaded. The string of numbers and the letters is your headset serial number, so I'm blurring mine. Type ADB space sideload space and drag in the version 28.zip file into CMD. Press enter and wait for that to install. Just to make sure your headset doesn't disconnect, don't touch the headset or the cable while it's connected and do not unplug your Quest while it is updating. This most likely will brick your headset. Once it finishes, command prompt will say Something like total x for 2.00x or something like that. And you'll be able to type in a new line into CMD. You can put on the headset and you might see a green progress bar going across the screen. Wait for that to finish or you might not. It doesn't matter either way, just power on your headset or it might have automatically restarted it showing the Oculus logo. The startup time will be longer than usual and may take up to 10 minutes. Once it boots into Oculus Home, you should now have version 28. To make sure it is installed, go to Settings and scroll to About. It should say the version 28 under what software you have. 
This means you can use Oculus Air Link and 120Hz. To turn those options on, go to Experimental Features under Settings and they should be there. If not, that's fine, just scroll to the top of Experimental Features and click Reset Experimental Features. This only resets the experimental features and does not change any other settings or remove any other games and apps or log you out of your quest. If this doesn't fix it, then just restart the headset a couple times. Oculus Air Link is a solution to play PC VR games on your Oculus Quest wirelessly. From what I've heard, this does work on the Quest 1 and 2. What you'll need for the Oculus Air Link is a PC VR ready computer or laptop, version 28 on the Oculus Quest 2, Oculus PC desktop app, and a 5GHz Wi-Fi connection, and preferably to have your computer wired to the router using an Ethernet cable. To make sure a computer is PC VR ready, go to the link in the description and download the Steam VR performance test. Run it, and at the end of the tests, you'll see a ranking of your computer. Make sure your computer is in the yellow or preferably green zones. This means your computer is capable of running virtual reality at a stable rate. Next, go to the link in the description and download the Oculus Rift or Link software and install it. After, go to Settings, General, and scroll to the bottom. If it says version 28, you're good. If not, go to the Beta tab and enable it. An update will install. Once it has finished, go back to the Beta tab under Settings and check to see if Air Link is there. If so, enable it. This will not be on all the time and will turn off after 24 hours automatically if not in use. So you'll have to enable it every time you want to use Oculus Air Link. Next, hop into your quest and go to Experimental Features tab and allow Air Link. Then go to Quick Settings and click on Air Link. Wait for your computer to show up and click pair and connect. You should see the Oculus Rift home and it's done. You can also change the bitrate settings by pressing on the headset button on the left of the dashboard. You can either change the bitrate to dynamic or set it to fixed. A dynamic bitrate allows the bitrate to change up or down depending on your connection. A fixed bitrate will only transfer the data at that set bitrate. If you're having problems, Try changing it to dynamic and set it to the lowest bitrate. And if there's still a ton of delay and it looks like the screen is moving like 5 seconds after you, go to Oculus Debug Tool at C Drive, Oculus Support, Oculus Diagnostics, and open the Oculus Debug Tool. Set the bitrate to 0 under Oculus Link. This won't actually mean zero, it will just make it automatic, meaning it allows the Oculus PC app to change the bitrate. To use Wired Link again, you'll have to disable Air Link from the experimental features on the Quest headset. One hundred and twenty hertz is a high refresh rate that makes the image on the screen look much smoother and can reduce the motion sickness for some people. The Oculus Quest One has a refresh rate of seventy two hertz, which is probably the lowest you can go without having motion sickness for the majority of people. The Oculus Quest Two released with a screen refresh rate of seventy two hertz, then opts it to ninety hertz for some games and the default Oculus Home. And now, with version 28 on the Quest 2, you can play supported games with 120Hz refresh rate natively. But the issue with this is, is that most games do not support this high refresh rate, except Cubism, Racket Fury, and a couple other games. So, there is a way you can force this high refresh rate in all Quest 2 games, except Oculus Quest Home, but not all titles will run at 120 frames per second, as the Quest 2 hardware might not be able to support it. Officially, 
the Oculus Quest 2 Link only supports the refresh rates of 72, 80 and 90 hertz with a USB 3.0 cable. With a USB 2.0 cable, you can only use 72 hertz. But with this quick fix, you can force 120 hertz on PC VR as well as native Quest 2 games. Depending of course if your PC can handle 120 frames per second in VR games. So, to do this, you will need any Windows 10 computer, developer mode on your Oculus Quest and Oculus account, the Oculus ADB drivers and SideQuest, and a USB-C cable connecting your Quest 2 to your computer. You can use the included cable that comes in the box, but I would recommend grabbing a new one like a phone charging cable, not an iPhone, but like a Samsung or other modern Android phone. So, to get developer mode, go to the link in the description and sign into your Oculus slash Facebook account and create a developer organization and name it anything you want. The name doesn't really matter unless you are actually going to start making games for the Quest platform. Once done, you can download the Oculus ADB drivers from the link in the description. Then, extract the folder using WinRAR or 7-zip and go into the folder, right click the android underscore win usb dot inf file and click install. Go to your oculus phone app and go to settings then click oculus quest 2, more settings, developer mode and make sure the slider is blue, meaning developer mode is on. Then go to sidequestvr.com and click get sidequest and download it and install it. Restart your Oculus headset and plug it into your computer. If a pop-up shows in the headset saying allow USB debugging, click OK. Now you can go to SideQuest. If there was a green dot in the top left of SideQuest with the IP of your Quest on it, it has worked and you can continue. If it doesn't show up there, try using a different USB cable. Go to the little box with an arrow on it on the top right of SideQuest and click Custom Command. Paste in the three commands from the description and click on the power button on the headset to put it into sleep mode and then click it again and you will have 120Hz in native Oculus Quest 2 apps and games and Oculus Wide Link if you activate it. For native Oculus Quest titles, you won't need the top two commands and just the third one. This will work the same for Link, but you will need the other two from my experiences. But again, yours might differ, so you might not even need it. And in the future, Oculus said they are adding 120Hz into Oculus Link, so you won't need to enter the commands every time. And also a quick side note, when you change the refresh rate and performance levels for the Quest 2, once you restart the headset, it will switch back to the default. So you'll need to do this again, as in going to SideQuest and entering the commands.